Uh, this essay is, um, is, is has two reasons. One is it's a, it's a tribute, in a way, to uh, Clarence Page, who writes um, an opinion column in the uh, Chicago Tribune, and who I who I respect, and I I want to interview him sometime. I've tried, but haven't been successful yet. Um, but this is a tribute to Clarence Page for um, teaching me something. Uh, and, and one of the things that he taught me was, was several years ago that I went to the Tribune page because I wanted to look something that Page had said and I wanted to get it verbatim. So click on Chicago Tribune and go to Clarence Page. And what did I discover? Several years ago, he was doing videos just before you could read the essay or his op-ed column about something he was going to be he was going to be writing about something so he's giving you a one-on-one -on -one with him on a video uh, to express kind of a condensation of what he's going after I've been writing columns for 25 years. First time it dawned on me that you could do this with a video. And since then, every essay that I've written for the last several years, every one of them is about 150 essays per year, <laughs> is prefaced by a video. And what you want to do is go back to my webpage a couple years and see where I picked it up. And the videos were atrocious. But in the last year or so, I've become a little more naturalized and can, can do it. So, Clarence, I want to interview you. I want to make, I would, I'd rather, I'd, I'd like to interview you. I'd like to have you um, come to my house. I'll make dinner for you and we could do the interview over dinner. Period, new paragraph. The other thing that, that Clarence Page is doing is precisely what I'm doing, and that is teaching Donald the Dumb some history. Donald the Dumb is a person who knows it all, but unfortunately, he's ignorant of almost everything. And Clarence caught him on his ignorance, and it had to do with Frederick Douglass. And he gave Donald the Dumb, a history lesson. And, you know, and what, what and the way I benefited from that was that I didn't know some of the, the I mean, I knew um, Frederick Douglass was, and I knew his attitude about slavery, but I didn't realize he was a runaway slave twice, uh, once in 1836 and again in 1837, and he ran away again and he uh, he was saved by uh, a free black lady uh, by the name of Anna Murray, who I think lives in Baltimore. And and what what is um, what is what is troubling about Donald the Dumb? is that he, one, acts like he knows it all, and then does some of the dumbest and says some of the stupidest things that are possible. Um, that's one issue. The other issue is he still gets 30% support. It is, is absolutely incredible that we're living with this state president. Um, but uh, thank you for watching and listening to this video and reading this essay. And again, Clarence, I'll try again and uh, have you um, 
for dinner sometime and um, we could do the interview over um, <laughs> as if I'm some chef um, one of my masterpieces so in the meantime you take care and uh, thank you for reading and listening to this essay take care